Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's Heidi. It's been a little while since I've done a video for you guys, so today I thought I'd do um, a supplies haul, supplies and books, since the last time I did a video, which was probably a month and a half at least ago. Um, so I got a lot to show you. Um, first of all, let's show you some of the less exciting items. So I've got Pilot G2 refills. This has been one of my favorite pens lately. It's just a Pilot G2 gel pen. And I've been using this a lot in the dots, lines, and spirals kind of books, or the one color books. So I got some refills for those. And then also I was running out of my Tombow Colorless Blender and I saw a pack of six on Amazon and I thought I might as well just get a bunch of these at once and then when they run out I won't have to worry about replacing them and these will probably last me forever. Years and years and years I'm certain. And then I'll show you this. So I got this new case. Um, I got this to house my Black Widow pencils because the new Monarch set came out, which are these here and all of these and these. So of course I had to get the new Monarch set, which are beautiful pencils. And then I put the, the rest of my collection of Black Widow pencils in this case. And the new set is really nice. Got a lot of new light tones, a lot of pinks and kind of flesh colors, yellows there. There's a lot of new greens, a ton of new greens, which I think they really needed in the set. Some new blues, some a couple of purples, a whole bunch of new grays, and um, yeah, I really like them. So there's that. Very excited about that. And then the last big item for supplies that I've gotten recently is, um, and I'm keeping them in this little Tupperware container, are the mini distress inks. And about a month and a half ago, I decided to go ahead and invest in all of the mini distress ink colors. So I bought all of the colors, all the sets, which was, you know, not cheap, but, um, I just, I don't know, I wanted to have a lot of color options and so I just went ahead and did it and I'm very glad I did. And I've been using them quite a bit. I did a little practicing. I've done a few pages, a few colored pages with them and I really like them. I like the alternative background options that I have with Distress Inks. Um, I felt like sometimes I don't want to spend a ton of time doing a background, so Distress Inks are great. Um, although they do require some practice, I've found, and I'm still learning, of course. And then I got this really great set of um, brushes to apply the Distress Inks, and I'm keeping them in this little cup here. Um, they were I don't remember how much they were, but they were not a bad price at all for what they are. They're really good quality, soft brushes for applying Distress Inks, and I've been using those a lot. I also got, um, at the same time that I ordered the Distress Inks, I got um, these little sponges and the applicator, and I saw Zucchini Kitty using these um, for the work that she does with Distress Inks and coloring books and so you know I figured I should get that 
Um, but in practice, I haven't really used these much. Um, and I find them a lot trickier to use than these brushes. So I have not been using those too much. Um, yeah, I'm not going to take all of these out of the out of the container. I mean, there are a lot of colors. Maybe at some point I'll do a separate video on distress inks and how I'm what I'm learning about them and how I'm using them. If anybody wants to see that, let me know. Um, I might do that at some point. And then mostly what I've been buying um, the past while are coloring books and I I don't know I've been kind of going nuts a little bit going nuts there's a lot of anxiety there's a lot of stuff going on for me and in the world and I just feel like one way that I am dealing with it is by buying coloring books online and supplies but mostly books um, and I know a lot of you can kind of relate to that too so I have acquired quite a few books lately. Um, I decided to buy all at once the million set, well it's not really a set, but these are all the books that Lulu Mayo has come out with so far. And these have been sort of in the back of my head on my list of books that I wanted to get for quite a while and I just didn't have any of them. And so I thought, oh, it'd be fun if I just got them all at once. So I did. They are so, so cute. I love them. So I got a million cats, a million bears. And I know most of you have probably seen these a lot already. There are flip throughs of these. They've been out for quite a while, most of them. A million dogs. They're all just adorable. I love her illustration style. A million owls. She has a really unique style. A million unicorns. I don't probably didn't even need to do that little flip through. I think everybody kind of knows these books, but just to show you just a little hint of what they are, I guess. A million sloths and a million mermaids. I haven't done one in here. I don't want to show it. And I think there are a couple new ones coming out. Um, I think there's going to be a million llamas. I don't know. Don't quote me. That was sort of the rumor that I heard. Don't know if it's true. Um, so there was those. And then I've had this on pre-order for a really long time. And most people have this already. Um, the new one from Hannah Carlson. Midnight Masquerade, and it is a beautiful book, of course, like any of Hannah Carlson's books. It is a little bit smaller and a little bit thinner than her other books because apparently it's starting a new series of coloring books for her, so it's sort of in a different format. Um, but it's it's similar enough. I mean, it's like very much like her other books, just a little bit different size. So there's that one, and then Fairy Tales, which was by Emily Lidhall Oberg, and this is one that I didn't have, and it was kind of in the back of my head that I should get it. And it had been on my wish list for a while, so I just went ahead and got it. These are gorgeous pictures as well. In her unique illustration style. 
it's a beautiful book. And then I got Zemla Snova, which is by Tomislav Tomic, or Tomic, I'm not sure. Um, and I got this on Etsy from a seller in Korea, South Korea. Um, I have the other one, uh, Villain San, and again, it was one of those books that I just, it was in my, the back of my head that I had to get at some point, and I just went ahead and did it, and it's just gorgeous. I mean, I think these are probably my favorite, favorite coloring books. I'm terrified of working in it almost because they are so gorgeous. Have to really be in an ambitious kind of a mood. Because they are very, very detailed, just absolutely stunning pages. But I'm so glad to have this book. And then. I got the second book by Camilla Derrico. I've got the first one and I've worked in it quite a bit. Um, the second one is Mermaids and Other Sea Creatures. It's been out for a while. I think most people are familiar, but I just didn't have it yet for some reason. So I got it and it's so cute. Really, really cute. I love her style. Happy to have that finally. And then the next one I got is one that I had on pre-order and it just came out um, last week, I think. And it's Pop Manga Cute and Creepy. And this one is just adorable. I love it. I think it's maybe my favorite of the three. Although I love all three, but some of the ones in this book are so, they're different. Like this one here, different from what she's given us before. Some of them are pretty creepy actually, like that one. And there's one further on, cute spider. So cute. <laughs> I love it. They're so adorable. Anyway, I don't know if I can find the one that's kind of that one. Oh my god. That one's a little disturbing, that poor little thing. Yeah, super cute. And then, at some point, I don't remember why, but I, oh, I know why. It was, I think I saw on Coloring Kids, she had done um, something from Botanical Wonderland, and I was like, oh yeah, those books are awesome. Why don't I have them? I don't know. So I ordered them. And like Rachel Reiner's style a lot, she has a unique style. Um, it's kind of like sort of a cross between flowers and just sort of organic shapes that aren't really realistic. And I like that, um, especially in this book. I think the other one is maybe a little bit more realistic. But yeah, so I was glad to get this. This has been out for quite a while, and I think this one has been out for a while too. I don't exactly know how long, but um, so yeah, a lot of cacti, desert scenes, succulents, and I like all those things. So, some people, some women, um, some animals. Yeah, really beautiful. And then I got this, oh, just recently. This has been on my list, my wish list on Amazon for quite a while, and I wasn't sure whether I should get it or not. I didn't know if I really liked this kind of coloring too much. Um, but I've been doing some of these in the Sun Life Drawing 40 coloring pages. And I realized that I 
cute. I do like them for the times when I just want to sit and listen to a podcast or something or an audiobook and just like fill in lines. And um, it's it's kind of therapeutic for me sometimes. And I love Stranger Things, so you know I don't want to buy one of those biographic ones that are sort of I'm sort of uh, I don't know sort of ambivalent about the pictures. Like if I'm gonna do this, at least I want to know that I'm gonna like the picture when it's done. So Stranger Things, yeah, happy about that one. And then I have three Coloring Heavens. Um, this, the magazine Coloring Heaven. I'm subscribed to this, so I've got this comes out every month. Um, so this was from a while ago. This is issue 64. Uh, these are designs from Colin Thompson, and they're like super, super busy. Full of just like jam packed with detail. Uh, and I really love the idea of these. I think I need to be in an ambitious mood to actually start one of these. But I, I'm glad I have this and I think I will work in it at some point. But they're pretty amazing. Got that one. And then Fantasy Cats by Jeff Haney. Um, this is issue 65 and these are just like cats in very elaborate settings, a lot of crowns, a lot of like psychedelic cats, um, yeah, kind of cool. It's not really my style, but I think it would be fun to try one of these anyway. Viking cat, two different styles. It's got some grayscale as well as line drawings. So there's that one. And then this one I just got yesterday, just came in the mail. Um, this is the Halloween special, which I wasn't really expecting yet, but it arrived and it has 40 designs by, let's see, Diana Prosperina, Don Davidson, Jen Katz, and Simona Candini. And I'll just kind of flip through quickly. I'm sure other people are going to have um, flip throughs of this one. And she, this person, Yuriko Shiro, reminds me a lot of um, Ennis Guerrero. So I like this one. I like the illustrations in this year's Halloween. Last year I wasn't as excited about it. This one, I think I'll try and do one or two. I hope two anyway. Yeah. So there's that one. And then lastly is this book that I got on Etsy along with, from the same place that I got the uh, Thomas Love Atomic book and I did not expect it to be this huge. It turned out to be really enormous. But it's, uh, I don't, let, let me try to pronounce this. I don't know French, but it is, I think, something like Les Saisons à Colorier, or something, um, by Charlotte Gasteau, if I'm not mispronouncing. And I've got this just because it looked super charming on the Etsy page just looked like something different, something completely different from anything I'd seen before and really, really charming is the word I keep up coming up with. And each page has that little red bird somewhere in it. See, there he is. And they're really detailed, most of them are. 
really detailed. Not very many illustrations in this. It's sort of a thin book, but each one is, I mean, they're really huge and also gorgeous. So, you know, I have no problem with it being fewer pages. And it goes through the seasons. And the little bird kind of like guides you through all the different seasons of the year. And yeah, I could probably do a whole flip through right here, but I'm not even getting the entire page in. So yeah, so there's that one. And that's it. That is everything I have purchased um, or received for coloring and that kind of thing uh, in the last month and a half or so. Um, so hope you enjoyed that. Uh, take care um, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.